now I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Bessemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruce lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Circus. 
this pirouette. Wrong footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if- But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Ha! Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. I 
<laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wild lands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Mm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything. Wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Hmm. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I smell it. Ghouls.
armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Third skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from the blood. <laughs> Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Where do you think you're going? Come back! Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. We going? Help me! Help! It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilfgaardians requisitioned my goods. Now this... Here. Back to the trail. Like I said... Leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. So, a griffin this close to the village? Exactly. 
and the forest to the mountains, sure, but here, near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. The Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Lost freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Claude Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But does no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be of service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. At times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Show me what you got behind the counter.
Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why? I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? I don't know. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Once more, there are four factions. For what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There are... What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you see'll kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done.
It's not a game for everyone. It requires an analytical mind. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gorn to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror. Or the man of glass. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Done drinking. Fuck off! <laughs> Don't want your kind here. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, he done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft! Get him! Taken all our grain. 
Here. Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set alight me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. I thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang Dent out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck.
things from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Boot prints. A man's. Large. Stinks of piss and vodka. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Sure to be poisoned. Lost his boots in the rush. Who knows? Will you go to the well in Hovel instead? Not in your life. I'd rather be. Tracks lead back to the village. Bleeding, but not badly. Kings do the surface wound. Peasants do the dying. My gran told me about the Smith boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk Damn grabbed a witch that was hunting the nearby. Trees. He started poking and asking, but he started twisting and squirming, Glory so one bam, they knocked his head off. Aye, so it were. Except it was some drowner that had supped on the kid. Witcher had naught to do with it. What did Let the me hand do? Let for trouble. Like they could have sold his head back on. What do I know? Word is, they laid his corpse to rest. Hush, hush, in a crypt. <laughs> Ooh, watch what you walk. The trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen. We can work this out, man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. Now follow me. <laughs> oh, I got it. Follow. 
apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. are wreaking havoc on my gut. Goidemar, will you raise a glass with me? It's Dervan now. D-E-R-V-A-N. Not Goidemar. But, what do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. What kind of name is that anyway? Dervan. What do our earnest prophesy for returning to the town? That was all of nine. Oh. He bumped his head when he went to bed and wet himself. Good morning. What do you say? Told you that. Uh, Jetty. Now listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Bye, Pride Hellraiser. And you're not to play with Chetty no more. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years! Charge the nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil's still whole, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got. So long. Those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. Come on, Roach. Think you've got it tough. You've a roof over your head. That's something. 
When the Black Ones laid siege to Vizina, they burned the outskirts to the ground. You took bigger bollocks than a noon rates unicorn. Faster. Slow now. That's it, Roach. in later once it's safe. Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. 
sea of corpses and corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afraid of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Fine, I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought. But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. That's it, Roach. Here, good. Bastion. His body must be here somewhere. Among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, but many a soldiers dropped his shield, especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. So many corpses, and the war's just started. Doesn't look anything like him. Come on, Hassar. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Oh, still nothing.
Son. Come on, Essa. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Uh, still nothing. Neighbor's son. Come on, Hassar. Can you smell Bastion, boy?
burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastille was big, broad-shouldered. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire did that. He found him! The SARS caught he sent! Come on! But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first... Want to explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilfgaardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosinia found me as... As he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted. And so we were. Blind man, leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rosinia. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blacken stays here. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes, teach him to work the field. But that accent... Fine, I'll take him in. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward. And the gods protect you. Faster.
Hey there. Run, Roach. That's it, Roach.
faster. Hey there. Get up. Don't you look at me. Kings do the fighting, but peasants do the dying.
Faster. Shit in a blow hole. You can't tell me about this ice cream. Lag with this one. I was in the first half of which one that was hunting me about. Got a lump of red today. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes. But I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I'll, I'll let it go half free. Let me have a look at your stock.
Take care. I'm tired, Hellraiser. Run, Roach. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night before the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like for his own. I was standing at my window, peering at the goings on. He must have been me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan, for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? A dawn. Another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse. And that were all I saw of him, and me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a feared to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well. That he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Soldier might have. 
What's that, theory? Nothing, nothing. Cracked monocle. Interesting. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. Documents almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found a pan, have you? This frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, sonny. For the road. Fry up a nice white fish for Come on.
discipline. That is what you folk lack. The storm, damn it. Yeah. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Soldiers are men too. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is. Took from us earlier and you will give 30 and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the elderman and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. What girl? This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a battue. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain. Ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. 
What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. Its sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mizlov. Thanks. Es soon the actin. Kellen Ted at the game at Avon A Alba. Password. Don't know any. So out for a little walk here, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we have a place for nosy rapplers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well. Show me where you're peddling.
So long.